with vacancies for months. Raleigh police are getting some relief as they welcome a new group of officers fresh out of the academy. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. I'm Angela Taylor. Closer to two dozen officers were sworn in today after undergoing months of training. They're now set to hit the streets of Raleigh to protect and serve. CBS 17's Nick Sturdivant is live at Raleigh Police Headquarters. And Nick, you talk with Chief Estella Patterson about the struggles to fill these positions. Yeah, Angela, Chief Patterson said it's tough, but it's not just tough for RPD, but it's tough for a lot of law enforcement agencies in our area. She told me what they're doing to get more recruits in the door. Friday evening here on the campus of Meredith College was a day of celebration. The auditorium filled with family, friends, Raleigh police officers, and the 125th graduating class of the department. Yeah, this is a huge day. I can remember when I graduated from the academy. This is awesome because it's they've been working for the last six months. 22 new officers sworn in. And when I had my conversations with them and I also read their why statements, why they want to be a Raleigh police officer, just about all of them said it because they want to do, make a difference in their community. While these new officers are eager to get to work, Chief Patterson says the department is eager to fill vacancies. The applicant pool is getting smaller. As of Friday, Raleigh police say there are a little over 100 vacancies. Now we're doing a lot of things to recruit. We're providing incentives for people who want to be a Raleigh police department officer. We're also, you know, word of mouth, um, seeing, you know, talking Talking to laterals, people from other agencies. During Friday ceremony, a graduating officer took the time to honor Wake County Deputy Ned Bird, who was shot and killed in August. He was 48 years old. He was a 13 year veteran of the Wake County Sheriff's Office and, by all accounts, an amazing person. Along with Raleigh Police Officer Gabriel Torres, one of the five people shot and killed during the October 13th mass shooting. I know he's moved on. <clears throat> I know he's moved on to protecting the streets of heaven. All the families, friends, and loved ones, I know that you may have concerns, maybe even apprehensions of your loved one being in this profession. But please rest assured, knowing that we have made solid investments in your loved one. Raleigh police is excited because they said that these, this new class will help fill these open spots. Now listen to this, Angela. They are down from the 123 vacancies back in August. Live in Raleigh tonight, Nick Sturdivant, CBS 17 News. All right, Nick, thank you.